Inside this Idaho church are reclusive members of a Christian sect who don't believe in medical treatment from doctors, even when one of their own children is near death. And they don't particularly like questions from reporters. Goodbye. We're just trying to let our viewers know Goodbye. why doctors See can't you. be used Goodbye. for your children. Goodbye. Erwin Sonnenberg is the veteran coroner in Ada County, Idaho. He has done autopsies on children who are part of that sect, the Followers of Christ Church, which has an estimated 1,500 members, mostly in Idaho and Oregon. Do you believe that many of the children you've done autopsies on would be alive if their parents took them to the doctor? Oh yes, no, without a doubt. I mean, that's, that's not even a question. And this is where some of those children have been laid to rest, the Peaceful Valley Cemetery in rural southwestern Idaho, a cemetery that belongs to the church. The sense of despair when you walk through here cannot be overstated. This is a relatively small cemetery, so it's fairly obvious the high percentage of grave sites that are the final resting places for children. There are adolescents buried here, toddlers, babies, and infants who died the day they were born. It's not known how many would have lived with the proper medical care. But people who have left the church tell CNN that roughly 200 of the 600 people buried here are children. One of those former members says this is the church's philosophy. Everything that you, is, happens to you in your life is God's will. It's predestined for you. And you either have faith in God to be strong and survive it and that he will take care of you, or your faith fails you and you do not. At this point in the story, you might ask yourself, can this sect knowingly refuse medical care to dying children and get away with it? The answer is yes. Idaho allows religious exemptions for negligent homicide, manslaughter, or capital murder, one of six states that have similar laws. But of those states, Idaho is the only one where such deaths openly occur. Bills have been drafted in the Idaho legislature to change the law, but there has never been enough support to get legislation to a vote. Bottom line, do you believe that certain legislators, because of politics, are willing to let children die? Yes. I mean... I think that's obvious just by, you know, uh, I guess the, the bill last year never even made it to committee. We wanted to ask Idaho legislators why they're willing to accept this. Many refused to talk to me about it. But one of the House Republican leaders did agree to go on camera, Representative John Vanderwada, saying he realizes something needs to be done. But the politics in this deeply religious state are challenging. There's no sense, in my opinion, of running a bill that doesn't you know, have a chance of getting through. But you'd want to see some kind of compromise. I'd like to see something that also helps protect the child. Does it trouble you, though, that children are dying in the state because of the law? Does. It does. I says we do everything we can to try to protect the unborn. Once they're born, we should also still try to protect them. But you're still not willing to say we should get rid of this law entirely, this religious exemption That's law. right, because I do believe we also have to protect religious freedoms. You were sick, you were hurt, no doctors were ever called. No. And this is what your childhood was like? Yes. Ryan Hoyt left the church when he was a teenager. He says this isn't an issue of religious freedom. I, I think that it's 100% it's neglect and abuse. I, 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 I think it's sick and I think it's sadistic. Brian says he was beaten with objects when he disobeyed. He broke bones, got sick, and never saw a doctor or got antibiotics or any medicine. And then there was the time in sixth grade when his mother gave birth to a baby brother without a doctor. My own mother, uh, the baby was hung by the umbilical cord during birth. And what happened? Got to hold it while it was still blue and semi-warm and tell him goodbye. Another case. This is the coroner report in Canyon County, Idaho, for a 14-year-old boy who died without medical care. The parents stated that he had been coughing and running a low-grade temperature for about two weeks. As time went on, he began having more shortness of breath, and the rattle in his chest got worse. The mother was holding him on her lap when he died. The boy's father did not want to talk to me. I just wanted to ask you about your face. No. You are not welcome. The followers of Christ have church services twice a week. We visited after a nighttime service. I just want to introduce myself. My name is Bye. Bye. I'm Gary Tucker with CNN. We just want to ask you Goodbye. about some of the policies in the church. Goodbye. All right, but can you just... Goodbye. I, just One church member, though, did give us a brief answer about why no doctors. 
We believe in uh, putting our faith in God. Stephen Paul Hughes died when he was two of pneumonia. Jerry Lane Gardner died when he was 11 from diabetes. So many other children from this faith dead. So many outsiders aghast. They don't have a choice. They're under their parents' care. And take a look at this tombstone in the followers of Christ Cemetery with words that are disconcerting to many outside the faith. Sleep on, sweet Neil, and take thy rest. God called thee home. He thought it best.